Welcome guys, welcome to another video. Now today I'm going to do some portraits. Now I'm not a portrait shooter, but it's something that I would like to um, try a little bit more of. Now, I managed to do a couple of portraits of my wife last week when we were up at Arthur's Pass. So I'll put them up, screen, up on screen very, very shortly. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a couple of self-portraits outside. Now I've got the camera set up outside. Well, I've got the tripod set up outside anyway. So I'm gonna put this 7200 on. Got it on the, the camera, on the Z6. Now we're gonna go outside in a minute and I'll take some photos. I'm filming this all by myself, so I shall show you the setup I've got outside. Now we'll come inside and we'll review some of these photos. So here's the setup I've got. I'm outside in my backyard with the camera on a tripod. And I'm standing about, let's count it out. One, two, three about three meters away from the camera. So there's the 70 to 200 on the Z6. And there's the background, which is about four meters away. And I'm standing about a meter away from that shrub just there. So that's what you see in the photos. So, just done a couple of portraits of myself outside against the background with um, the shrub in the, on the fence line. Now, I wanted to do a shout out to Karen Weisman, I believe, uh, who asked for some portraits, for me to do some portraits to show the bokeh on, on this lens. Now, I did have it set at f2.8, and as I just mentioned before in the clip outside, I'm about three meters away, which is about what, um, nine, 10 feet away from the camera itself, and about three or four feet or a meter in front of that shrub. Now I hope I've spelt, I hope I've pronounced your name correct, Karen, um, but like I say, I'm not really a portrait shooter, but it's something that I do want to get into. But um, we'll have a look on screen at some of these photos and see what you think. So first of all, I'm going to open up this portrait of my wife. Now, let's have a look at, zoom in on it, and have a look at the background blur on that. I know there's not a lot of stuff happening in the background, but this next one, that's a bit better shot with the background blur on the camera, on the lens, as you can see, it's nicely blurred out. Now, she was standing in front of the Arthur's Pass National Park sign, which is just out to the left of that. Now, the background is just the mountains up here and the riverbed down here. So, we'll go on to this silly grinning fella here in front of the the shrubs. Oh God, I need a shave. <laughs> Never mind. But as you can see, the background is nicely blurred out at f 2.8. Not like what the hat says. So move on to a couple of the other ones. And like I say, the background is nicely blurred out. It's not too distracting the, the out of focus areas. Yeah. 
there's another shot as you can see the background is nicely controlled with bokeh and closer up shot now that last shot I think was let me see these were set at f2.8 120 millimeter focal length now these ones here I had put at 200 I believe yep 200 millimeters f2.8 so these ones here 200 millimeters f2.8 god that guy needs a shave Ugh, yuck <laughs> but that background is quite good the, the bokeh on that is quite good I think personally I think the it renders quite pleasingly so what do you guys think did you like that or not I know the subject matter wasn't that great but that one's a lot better so what did you think of those photos I showed you on screen just a just a second ago did you like them did you think the quality was great the subject matter wasn't that great anyway was it but I should have had a shave in mind uh, but yeah what did you think of the bokeh in the background did you like it did you not do you think the quality was good or not? Let me know in the comments below. Like I said earlier, I'm not really a portrait shooter, but it's something that I really want to do a little bit more of. So if there is anybody in the Christchurch region who would love to have their portrait taken, get in contact with me. My email address is in the description and my contact details on this page. Um, get in contact with me and we can arrange something now I don't have a studio so I can't do like studio portraits um, I'm a poor photographer obviously with buying lenses like that uh, but I've done a few portraits for friends um, outside I like doing outside you know outdoor portraits and stuff like that outdoor shots so yeah give me a call or email me I think the the portraits have come out pretty well I like the the background blur of this this lens um, I'm ho I hope you do too and Karen I hope you like the the shots I've done I know it's not um, a professional shoot but um, that's all I've I've got at the moment anyway my photos of my wife and myself I hope you like the video and please like and subscribe comment down below and we'll see you on the next one Under our clothes, fire grows. we are ready for this life of running